a little bit faster. It's a lurk smoke to kick things off. The spamming through the smoke is Emor, and he immediately opens up the account. Fantastic first kill there, slowing down this aggression outside of the tunnels, but there comes a second as well. He's not even able to get one of his own. The trades come through, but it's just showtime left, and Zantar is two in the round, shuts them down. He's just going to peer away. He can take one peek here, and then get out quite scot-free, but ZQK with the headshot immediately. What is it going to start to spin up now? Go for these heads, gets another dink, and showtime without recovered M4, even able to get a kill of his own. But now the cleanup crew comes through. We can see the big names immediately. Zantares, Woxic, even Kalix back on space shoulders. ZQK continuing his dominance. He's on that scope rifle, but look at him more. Yeah, more. He's all the way up and gets the trade kill immediately, but Showtime ready. The reliance on the utility isn't there. A well timed Molotov could prevent things. He split the T. Zantares just tucked in by the car. X Fans will bail him out. And in fact, they triple up on the defense. Yeah, but pushing through Upper Dark now. So low on the T player, so little HP, but he gets spotted out. CK's out, he's able to clutch it out. I think the incendiary came in at the right time. They found three kills on it, and oh, ZQK once again opening it up with that mid pick. Adam Moore removed immediately early on, and now the loading. He's gonna push out, but he gets removed immediately. Kalik on the aggression here, trying to find another kill, but he's removed from the server. And trying to work open an opportunity, but ZQK, he's got the superior scoped weapon, but he will miss the shot. And yep. Antares is going to capitalize upon it. There's quick trades, though, and Wox it Making his way through with this Deagle, it's all going to come down to timing. As they look away, he finds the gap. That's Showtime removed, and he can just stay here. They're going to have to try and clear him. They have to be aware of this. And Wox on the site, the bomb, it's ticking down the time. Yeah, he has repositioned as well, but x -Flout, he's just going to absolutely... Terry, these two superstars are the difference maker for Eternal Fire. Here's Woxing with that opener already. Even the double setup here with Imor, but it does get cleared. They are ready for this set play. Woxing, he has to drop the incendiary and try and get out here. What's that incendiary going to do? Fair bit of burn damage here. In fact, it pushes CKs out into his crosshair. Really nice utility from Eternal Fire across the board. Obscuring the vision in lower tunnels allows that AWP safe passage to escape. Alex re-aggressing in. He's pushing lower. He has to find this kill. Has to convert this back into the two or two. And he is going to be delivered against the AK as well. With Santeris finding that kill, it is everything. ZQK is spotted with that bomb on his back, advancing up with the AWP. Santeris tucked in here. It's going to be so difficult to clear. That comes the peak, but there comes the flick. Fantastic. That makes this so difficult. That AWP posted up towards long. There's going to be nothing blocking that vision. And he's even holding the perfect line here. x has to walk through the flash, but x them and occupy towards A. But here comes the attack. They're be streaming out here, Imo. He can swing out at any moment, just waiting for the right opportunity. But he's shut down immediately. The Desert Eagle, it chimes through. Exile. He has to do it all here, but Santeris, he's also still tucked in, still set up here. And that's that crossfire coming into play. The bomb gets dropped, and Showtime, he's all alone. Perfect play by Santeris. He doesn't really need to reveal his position. That silencer makes it a world more difficult. That flash actually just picked up another one. So does that starting to work with you? That's the angle. Finds Kalix the one. Difficult on that retake. Swaps over to that M4. The utility damage is absolutely harrowing. Showtime, 19 points of health, but he's holding his nerve. He's holding for the angle, but unfortunately, it's just... But aggression is falling the tunnel fire's way. Yeah, what's it going to He's creeping his way up, and that's the kill. But the trades that come through, Showtime, he swings out and he gets rotated over, but he can't get into the site, especially with Showtime hitting shots like that. It's an immaculate performance here as he takes the orc peak, he gets the advantage, then he escapes with his life. He can reposition and then take up. He spots the head, creeps his way up, knows that there's an opportunity here if he strikes at the right time. That's the first. Removes that one. I'm going to drop the HG down, do some damage. Oh, but the swing out by the Nopper, not quite able to convert it. Santeris gets a second and gets away with one HP. That's all off the back of jumping up on that pistol play. Kalix, he's good for a multi kill. And suddenly, last round, and now he needs to replicate. Yeah, but they do. He just the job for the 1v4. They can all swarm on getting any contact here. Zantara is spraying through the smoke. His bullets are going to find a little bit of damage onto Donoko. But Kalix rising from the shadows. Donoko's doubled up. Hang on a second. This has got a little bit... set up there to defend it. Wopsic just caught off guard. And x Cloud, ooh, opportunity here to find ZQK ducking down, trying to escape. But doesn't even need it. Forming in towards middle. That grenade, but in more. Through the smoke, it's a wonderful headshot. Get back now. They are aware of that position. He can now hold the line out and set up a bit of a crossfire here. They're going to try and clear it. And ooh, the flick. It doesn't quite land. But now Wopsic, he swings out. That's two for him. And the third. Wopsic shuts everything down. So unfortunate for Hummer. They missed that x Wopsic can just creep right on in. And in fact... Showtime, he will be allowed that first kill, but how?
much more time as he got left. Woxic will shut him down. It's four. It's nearly perfect. Gets out of dodge, and Woxic is there to support with the Falash's and utility. Yeah, damage time for both players now. Kalex he wants to continue to fight this one, but he is going to get removed. Molikov comes through, which there is one on the knocker. Removed now, so no opportunity for it. Zantera's putting down everything in there. That's the bomb removed. 24 seconds, no chance. Not quite. Woxic gets baited in, but he got the kills. We've won the round. Zatera, so he might even try and peek after time here, see if he can get a freebie. Like that. Keep moving away all the way up and short. Was that a shadow spotter just then? I think he might have, they might be aware of his position. You can see they're starting to stand, but the flash comes through. Not quite able to find the kill. Woxic now. He drops in the sentry to first slow this one down with this scout. He has to do it all on the defense. Even Showtime finding a kill on the train now. Just Kalex on the side. He's only good for one though. Really nice. Well, We've got the middler for Showtime. He cuts off the B rotation. Into long, and this commander comes through. All of these players for the T side, they're coming up. They're Terrence, he's trying to spray through the smoke, but he gets removed. Does a lot of damage in the process, though. Woxie, he's going to take his place. Going to swing out, trying to find anything, but can't quite do it. Donoko, he takes him down. Kalex on the side, though. He could disrupt everything here. Playing around the smoke, but Donoko, he's going to get another headshot. x -Bar. Here on the rotate with the mass throws the utility true, but it gets extinguished. Has a HE here that could do some serious damage. These players are so low. It's the double HE. The banger comes through. He's going to continue aggressing now with the FAMAS. Has it more in the sidelines. They've fallen back in more. That's still Boney removed. But as ZQK with this AWP, he's holding such a good crossfire here. So difficult for them to make their way out. That's one kill, but still needs to find the second. x he's crept his way up here with the FAMAS. Already has two in the round. Just needs to find this third to close it out. ZQK just playing close here, playing with his food, but not quite able to land it. There is time. He has the kit. He can get the defuse. CK Zhao, he's crept all the way up through middle though in towards this one. Yeah, but the side take, it's coming through to be very quickly. They're just going to bounce out. It's UK with the USP. Oh, tap, tap, tap. He's holding from bottom mid. Now, Tammy swung out on any moment. That ding, very misleading. This is CK Zhao. His time to shine. Swings out for two clean headshots. Love the USP. One taps from here. Mossic, everything to do. And he shut down. Success on the CT side. Bit of aggression here from Immol towards Long, but the rest of his team not committing. He's actually made his way through the smoke. He's sneaking all the way through. The flash has come through. He gets a kill off the back of it. He even gets a second. Swiggy round Immol with the Tech 9. Does it all in Zed Terrors. He's even going to find Elboni. When he just got. Uh, sorry, he really had to deal with the Tech 9 when he got a scout. Not really ideal. To knock her. He's getting hunted as well. What's the hold of this M4 with his life? And he's just able to do it. Allow the Deagle and the Famas to really come into full fruition. Oh, the dig through box. Oh, he's just charging forward. Looking to do some more damage here, but Showtime with the scout is able to remove him. The bomb gets dropped. x able to get the trout though. Going to continue to push up. Is that down? He's managed to activate here. He gets through, in fact, dropping the bomb once again. All these players, they're slowly falling across the map. And CK's out. He's left in the 1v2. It's a little bit weird because the T's are isolated. In the neighborhood, the smokes, they get deployed. ZQK on the site. He's going to be the first contact here. Has a teammate beside him as well. Pushing up close, there, QK potential here. That's the bomb dropped. He's able to dart back around, play around this. Most of the spray comes through to a second as well. x good with the trade, Delboni. His bomb fight. goes down. Yes, yeah, QK has done his job because it means the rest of the cover can congregate on the bomb site. Zantares gets spammed out by the A4, and now it's a two versus two. Yeah, x though, he's playing around the box here. Knows where one of these players is coming from. They should be aware of the second. You see, all the way back in back mid is Woxic with the AWP, but they both managed to get past him. But running shoes on, and you have to hit this shot. Lines up for it. That's the first. The bomb is being stuck. Can't quite find the body. Trying to hit it, but no, he just misses it. Inches in it, and Hummer, they get the round. It's a 10 second defuse position, so it's the perfect counter that Hummer have implemented. But this flashback, he can completely neutralize them. Playing anti flash, though, is the UK, but they'll both need to find the frag. Emor trying to convert, and in fact, they're one for one trade. Yeah, this Molotov, though, is going to burn him alive. Oh, he manages to escape. He jumps out with 2 HP. X5 tries to swing for the kills. Nelboni does get caught eventually. They want to take no risks, but Showtime, he's ahead of the utility. Kalix up and over on the bomb site. Being helped from two different angles. Woxic, if he can find this head, that sets him up. But Woxic, he's too quick. He pops up. Even scrappier than the last round, to be fair. And that Woxic, oh, the head is AQK. He does and not miss. Onto the AWP counterpart of Hummer. You see Delboni, he's pushed quite in further towards short, but Zantares is potentially aware of it. 99 ADR on this man. Yeah, too much confidence being given to Zantares and Woxic here. All these kills being farmed up on the superstars. Zantares picks three in the round for him. He closes it out and he takes... And he finds first contact. He's just trying to bait in CK's out. Yeah, that smoke coming down. He can play around this as well. The flash is... Oh, it's great. Delboni, he tries to push forward. That's the bomb that's been dropped. And now Delboni, he can continue to cause chaos from long. The flank, though, it comes through. Showtime. Holding here on the site still. That's Zantares presented to him. That bomb is still loose. Woxic, though, that's a critical kill. Zanoko, he's rotated over. Trying to find... The player here, but cannot do it. Just kept piling on in, trying 
trying to overwhelm Eternal Fire. Chilberetta's up close and personal, never really given any presence over. They have a divider, a peak. It's completely taken. Really nice as well from x because he doesn't extend on over and he closes the door. He keeps the players in towards short. He's and then from win. that youngster, Eternal Fire, they plant the bomb on B and more damage is being found in Connector. Yeah, just looking to see if they can find any kills here. Ah, Hummer, but with that player going down Straight there, through that wall would do it. Then Terry's next X-Files, they're still inside, trying to find these kills. Or Calyx, he's going to clean it up. It's then QK and the gang over towards toilets, peeking his way in. He's trying to bait in his rifle, but Santares at the double. Santares peeks, then he does not miss. Two kills for him. Del Bode can't get anything on site. Once he removes him and Calyx on the flank. It's just CK's out left. He doesn't really have to do anything off the back of it. Maybe see it implemented in future rounds. It's an interesting discussion, though. The scope to win in more. Thinking about peeking over has actually spotted out the orb, but that's where Danoko can swing in, baited in perfectly. CK's out. Holding up here on towards the graves. Not quite able to do any damage. Woxit gets the second as well. And that's stepping now onto the B. Freeze at QK. There's no smoke occupying the heavens. So he can peer on down in. Perfectly placed Molotov is actually going to funnel. Did not go forward, but actually, all the kills are coming up in Hummer's favor. X not thrown into the clutch. Yeah, the 1v3, that's the first though. He comes into the first. It's a great spray chance from the ZQK. He gets the away now. Reposition. Tell Boney. He's been brought low. Doesn't know where X Fat has moved to. He walked into this position in short. The smoke is providing cover. No utility, no kill. Hit either. Yeah, now he's holding it. He can ready to juggle this. He has to attack the bomb. Exhort has to give us a look in, and Del Boney holding the line. Good one. That Molotov gonna disrupt the positioning. Yeah, force them to come out now in our showtime. They're just gonna be flashing through. Move on the anti flash position, but it doesn't matter. Alongside PKZ, they time Absolutely in. Absolutely perfect showtime. Can just hold on to the bomb. Yes, he gets out. He's ready to swing out as his teammate goes down. That's not actually going to be able to get the trade. Trying to reposition here. Kalex does get removed eventually. Woxic trying to get one of his own, but CK's out. He's going to fight it. He's going to close it. He also has to slowly make his way out, but Woxic on the other side with an EDP of his own. That's their QK removed. Woxic almost there, no. but doesn't quite hit the shot. Fine margins for Woxic. Can he double up? Danoko's going to get aggressive, but Woxic is holding for it. The flashbang reveals the intention, and Eternal Fire are too experienced. You can see at the back of those two kills, they're ready to commit to this one. Only 25 seconds on the clock. Has to deny this bomb plan. It's ticking down the time has to find his kills but he's getting flushed out the molotov it spreads and it's perfect bomb will explode i'm gonna be jiggle peach you can see aware of it is x cloud and that's gonna reveal and terrors he swings out to knock the trade is there though so the setup does activate and del boney now holding the top of con the third player the, the extra piece in the puzzle he comes to life but the Kallus, he's able to trade out the trades they're going back and forth they're QK, he's close range tries to shot the smoke it's not fun. done though it's a two versus two and they're in between are like a little weird ct sandwich showtime the way that sound cue slowly crawling his way up has to clear every single one of these angles has to find showtime and his shoulder it sticks out he's aware of this player's position trying to push up close trying to go for the nose go gets the tag on the leg but it's not enough to do the kill even going for the bomb plant here in showtime that's too easy for him to close this one even though they don't get the bomb plant that terror he's taking first contact with the double peak is perfect showtime shutting down all three and that's monster close smoke to cover, give cover from heaven even a molotov out towards ramp walks he wants to swing out as well but x Cloud, he goes down, and now it's just Woxic in the 1v4. Nice position from Hummer. They play a very different caliber. They definitely have the experience here in Showtime. He opens up the account there on Calyx. They're working their way up long with the bomb. If Danoko gets caught off guard here, which he potentially could do, it's a scary prospect for the CTs. Yeah, Deboni here, it's all on him. He has to find a multi-kill. He's able to get the first at the very least. If they're only sending down to slow down any further aggression, now the rotation comes through from ZQK with that AWP in close quarters combat. Good for one so far. There's two more aggressing into the site, though. That Terry's holding their line. Great kill under him. Even going for the spray here. Doesn't aware that Showtime is there, but it's almost another one of these close engagements. It's a two versus two. These rounds are so chaotic, but Zantara is over towards bank. Eliminate Showtime. Oh, what a shot. The bomb does go down. That M4A4 making its way out. He's jiggling the angle. Presents a kill. Low HP, though, and Zantara's already seen two banger shots out of him. Will have to be the third onto the low HP player. And it is two. Take UK all eyes on him, and he holds this long angle. The flash. Start. He just sort of walks straight into the crosshair there. The flash doesn't quite hit its mark, and he can just hold the lines. And Terra's going for a counter boost, though, and he's going to be rewarded. So he gets put on notice. 
And Woxic will actually lose his life towards the they top really of the utility there. to defend this whilst Eternal Fire do. Here it comes. It rains on in. Kallax needs to win out this engagement. Actually, that's a team flash, but he will still deliver the headshot. There's one more player Going here. Down though. 10 seconds left. The bomb, it has to be planted. He's tucked in behind Dice here. And that bomb, it's going to start to go down. He can swing out, commits to the kill, finds the set tires with the AWP. He is able to get at least two kills for his troubles, but he has to hold on to this one. A little bit costly, Eternal Fire. Trying to be taken towards short here. Woxic actually leaving the charge with the AWP. But so he gets out on the other side. He's going to charge through, but then Terrence, he's holding strong. So much damage on the showtime as well after the first kill. They're going to continue to aggress forward. It does get the trade, though. How has got that kill with the MP9? Meanwhile, Donoko finds success. He's up only 15 kills already. He's the man of the hour to stop this one. That's the bomb drop. First kill already. Two more players coming. ZQK, he shuts it all down. Defender. He has to find at least one kill here. And there it is. The UNC one tap is perfect. Quite, quite flick onto the second, but now he's going to back up. Even getting the kill on the fadeaway as he tries to escape. Zentaris can do nothing wrong here as he opens up with two. Done his job and then some. And the utility now raining in from Eternal Fire is absolutely perfect. CK Zhao, he's only on four. 14 points of health. Not long for this world either. Delboni thrown into one versus four. Has the P250 though, but has to find these heads and there's just two. Nades about to rain on in. Woxic with a peek up and over, but no head is currently presenting itself. Yeah, that flashbang's perfect as well. Forces him off the number. He's going to catch the timing with Zantaris. He pops up and he does the damage, covering his teammate. He's also going to reposition here a tag on the showtime as well. But if you get able to pop out and get the head of Zantaris. They've read up on this one. It's a flurry of players all the way over towards this bomb site. There's just so many people here. Where did all the Eternal Fire defenders come from? You're trying to flash up for a bit of a peek there, but Kallax sitting behind the trees. Too easy for him. Delboni eventually dealt with 19 kills with all those multi frags. Gonna get his 20th here though, so now he does even up that scoreboard at the top. Might even be able to find a second here as his players are gonna push up already low as well. HG not able to face the mark on the do it. He is able to close it out. Woxic, good for one, but the trades do come through with Deagles. Now those rifles can be recovered. Tucking on in behind Dice. Will Hummer expect this? Potentially not, because Emo has thrown his life away. Completely caught off guard there, but I don't know if they can be ready for Kallax here. He can swing out and find the first on Delboni. It's just that QK left. He doesn't have the armor. Perfect. The 1v2. Both players coming from different directions. Just spotted though. And he ducks away and X-Cloud. He's gonna activate off ramp. And you have to expend a smoke to be able to safe passage towards the top. Yeah, Kallax is doing huge damage with this tab. Huge amount of damage on Zanoko in the end. And now Emo, he can swing out for a kill of his own. Has a smoke he can throw down to allow safe passage out there as well. Maybe even a chance for a second here and he does. And is Zantara's gonna continue to aggress down and he does. Showtime, that's an opening. And off the back of that, he's actually gonna sort of make... Flashing through, here comes Del Boney, but he... Not a position you want to be in, but he is in. That namesake Santares even thinking about going aggressive. He's going to take the fight straight to Hummer, but CK Zhao puts a bullet in his brain. Good damage done, though. One player has made their way up already. He is spotted, but Showtime too quick on the trigger. What's it? Not quite able to hit the flick, but Showtime, he doubles up. Eternal Fire take the fight straight to Hummer, and it's a risky move. Emor gets now caught out with utility. x left. Damage now to Hummer. Gets away with Woxic. In fact, it's going to be in more. Rotates his way over. He peeks on in, but Danoko is there. Completely catches him off guard. In fact, he gets two kills. He's trying to open up B. himself. Trying to peek into this. The T's over there. Aggressing for Delboni. He gets the kill. And that's Woxic, the he's been brought down low. And Danoko will strike off the back of it. And in fact, he will follow up. As it's going to be executed, though. They have to go for this time. They're not aware of it. That's like coming through. Showtime able to find the opening. x drops the smoke to the fence. Now Zantaris activates. ZQK gets removed. x on the side. He's the only defender left standing. But Zantaris, that flank is just... Molotov so is going to extinguish in the smoke. x -Flout. He makes his move, but Showtime adjusts his aim. But more importantly... Potentially to present themselves. This flash gets thrown down. Good one onto him, though. So he gets out, able to capitalize on that. It's just Woxic left. The 1v2. Not even sure where the second player is coming from. Holding the line. That's the first and the second. Woxic, he clutches it for them. Good though. CK's out. He's brought low. Now they're going to aggress off at Woxic. He's caught reloading. And Sendry gets thrown down. That's going to slow things down further. Woxic, he can swing out. The CK's out. Holding the line. x all on him. Gets the first with the FAMAS. Calix is brought low as well. All the way over towards Dumpster. x now out on the island. Imor, he's going to rotate up though. Delboni gets Santeris off guard. That flank comes through. It's flanks on flanks. Kills on kills. The 2v2 commences. But it's just the FAMAS. It's a lower weaponry, but it doesn't even matter. Either. Emor will find that kill, it forces him. Santares gonna be faced with a challenge in Connector and, well, 
He's always going to win. Drops the bomb before he peeks out. The Calyx holding this line. Gets the info. The jiggle. It is quite good, but he's able to convert it. Sears picked the bomb. It's left alone. That Molotov will actually force them forward, but CK is out. So delivers that's where the it take place. Map control is needed for Hummer, but Santares, he's stuck between two targets. And unfortunately, he doesn't. Get... Potential to catch Del Boni off guard with his knife out. Close range with the AWP. He does not miss those opportunities. He's now already CK. on the flank. He's pincered in. And Hummer, they feel like they could go towards A. They've got enough time Someone to do doesn't so. have a smoke to extinguish it. 15 seconds on the clock. That bomb can be brought down. Both players coming from CT. And we're going to aggress forward in showtime. He's holding the line. It's just x Cloud left in the 1v2. It's one of those dangerous situations once again for Hummer. x Cloud peeking on over. Just trying to tap away with the FAMAS as he relocates towards the truck. It's a double swing. And Utility from internal fire. Single incendiary and a flash is left. Center. He's forced up in showtime. He holds the line. Woxic is able to chime in for the trade though. Flash has come through. Calyx and Xcloud are here. They drop the incendiary towards short, but it is monster where the aggression comes. Xcloud not able to find a kill there. Gonna see this swing up the Calyx. He goes down. It's just Xcloud on side. Only able to get the one. The rotations come through faster. Emo, he's coming through from short, but he's not on the side to aggress forward. He's it's now onto Woxic in this one versus three. It's a very difficult clutch. Both of these players have rotated over Showtime. He falls, but he bases his teammate perfectly. CK's out. He isn't there yet, but it is making its way over anymore. He's going to swing out. Fights the first. Off quite on the second, but X-Files there for the trade. Lovely trade spacing from Eternal Fire. And that's going to really make Hummer move. And that's where Woxit can strike Showtime. Just deploying the last little bit of utility to aid them onto this bomb site. We'll plant in the smoke. But x is already on the flank. Calyx will win that one out. He's over here. Woxit making a lot of noise here towards Connector. Oh, that's the potential of the head. But two kills go the way of Hummer early on. Both chiming in on both sides of the map. That's immediate. That's not something. He might get a kill for free here and at least put this back into just the one man advantage. That's a critical kill to find. Full commit. Full monster and that's because they've made their way all the way out already coming up forward x Cloud now to be tested ck now gets the dink but delbonium from short yeah they rotated off there just wasn't any info off the back of all that utility so calyx and xanteras are not in position so much damage done though that hg oh it comes so close to bringing both players low but can't quite get the mark Calyx going for the wild spray, but not able to connect the wall bang. They can go for this. Santaros will elevate through the heavens, and he'll take out one of those players at such low HP. ZQK peering on in, but Calyx, he's going to make his move. Yeah, he's got to be the point man here, but there's a player close by in water, and he's not going to clear the angles. And Here's taking... the double snipers once again for Eternal Fire. Heavy investment here at overtime. Flashbangs. Going to try and allow Xcloud just to peek over this utility. No commitment yet, but with Calyx finding Dinoco, it might send Hummer away. Difficult decision, and now Xcloud will elevate from water, and he will get that kill. Zantares, in the meantime, falls to Showtime. They make their way on towards B, however, Hummer. Five seconds left on the clock. Xcloud, he can deny everything. He fights the first. He can switch up and get this bomb plan. He does deny it. Watch, the bomb goes down, but he gets the kill. And that's enough. He does everything there on the defense. Open up here on overtime. Holding the line. The wide swing is perfect. Imor. Woxix peaked up towards toilet. Showtime. His lurk is finally... Fire are capitalizing. They're now onto the side. Delboni does take down x -Cloud. That was the man that was doing all the damage on these side holes. Imor, he gets spotted as well. But there's a second player in towards water. Calyx has made his way all the way up to the side. Just sitting in the smoke. That bomb, it goes... Does to go down. He's not able to deny it. The smoke is providing too much coverage. Calyx trying to play around here. He has managed to find a bit of an opening here. That's the orb removed. Even swings out on Delboni. He's doing it all. It's just CK's out left in the 1v2. How's he got into that position? Calyx, he just remains so silent. CK's out. Throws it into a one versus one. He's got low HP. Wogsick, he was sticking the bomb, but he gets off it. Allows CK's out an opportunity in, trying to bait out with the scope and the defuse. This time he's holding for it. He's going to stick it permanently, but he's going to hit the shot as well. There's just enough time. Eternal Fire take the advantage. What's they going to defuse the bots, Monster? See, both these teams do this. And Terra's waiting for that flash to come through. He's going to swing out, looking for the entry here. Spots ahead of CK's out, able to get a bit of damage done, but not able to find the kill. Imor is able to find two, though. That opens up the account, even finds the third. Imor, he does it all. Imor with the hatch running through the fire and the flames is the knocko, but he's only got 5 HP. That grenade's going to finish him off. It's basically flawless for Eternal Fire. They make their way towards series point. We're going to hunt down ZQK okay, here. The AWP, ooh, is able to hit the flick, but at overtime money, if they're able to remove this, it gets pretty dicey the further this one progresses. Going to contest 
ZQK will hit the shot and most importantly, runs away. Back and towards A for Hummer though, so there is a potential they can go for this take. It would be the four on three. Immor this time leading the charge. He got the 3k last time. He dropped the bomb this time. x -Lab. he's there for the trades and Terrace, he gets bullied off so he can't make any further ground. CK's out. He's still Sorry. tucked in tight and close here. Has to find this shot. Not quite able to do it, but Delboni, he's there for the trade. But he gets traded out himself as well. Now, Danoko, he's monster. Danoko, the clock is ticking down. There is no time to go hunting for these positions. And Woxic, he closes it out. Eternal Fire do it. They are going to progress.